Where'd you go? It's frozen in time. You okay. Well, we should stop the recording. It's um, not a very good connection. Maybe, is there another area he can go to? Because yeah, no. something may have a light. So my connection or your connection? It's your connection. I'm right beside. Yeah, it's, a, yeah, it's connection is not good here. No. It's a, yeah, I lost this. Uh, but we can hear you. Everybody else can. Uh, we just can't see you. Cannot see, right? No. It's also okay. Everybody here. Can everybody hear? Yes. Okay. The audio is okay. Yeah. Everybody yeah. Audio is okay. Audio is okay. Yeah. So you can go ahead and whatever. We can't see you. Can't see you. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah, the big problem, the timing schedule. Okay, so anyone has any questions or no? No, not me. Any, can you see me? Or, can you see or no? No. Can you see, right? Image. Yeah, no video. No, just no video. Video. Oh, that's all we see. It's okay. Oh, there you are. Yeah. Okay, can you see? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so no, which page? Um, 41. 41 of the main stage practice is known as recollect the parity. <sighs> okay. So do you want to know the Bodhi Gaya? Where well, I'm right now in Bodhi Gaya. Oh, are you? Oh, really? Hmm. Okay. Yes. The Bodhi Gaya, the temple. So Buddha enlightenment here. So you're the doing place. the teaching from Bodhi Gaya. Alrighty. Bodhi Gaya, yeah. We all join you. Leg. Right there. <laughs> yes, I'm going to Bodhi Gaya. Yes. Okay. It's probably the yeah. only way I'll get there. So. <laughs> sure. It's a uh, in the Bodhi Gaya. Usually, you can take the forms and go in there, but this time cannot. Form no allowed. Camera no allowed. You know. And the people, everyone checking so hard to go in the temple. Oh, I wonder why. Thousands, thousands and thousands of people in the area. Many, many different countries chanting, prayers, meditating, and uh, everyone doing their own things. Mm. Thousands and thousands there. Many different oh. countries. Oh, good. Oh. Wow. Uh, so that's why we went in there and then we lost each other. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, also my time, you know, is uh, when I was Malaysian, I teach 10.30. So today also I taught 10.30 and then I say, I'm going to eat breakfast, then going to teach. And <laughs> right away I'm thinking about, wow, maybe India right now. Check the time, it's a wing cover, it's already seven. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, so that's why I stuck in the restaurant because we come to eat here breakfast. Okay. <laughs> yeah, even go to this good here is here has Wi-Fi so, and uh, hotel no Wi-Fi. Oh really? Okay. Oh, so you had the restaurant. Ah, it's a different, different country. No same. Everything is different. So do we know what you're gonna do next week? Next week, uh, 
May so I guess uh, uh, I'm going to like all schedule to today, tomorrow, and then uh, which place I get, I check, and then I can let you know. Okay. That's okay. okay. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah. Sorry about an in inconvenience. No, no, we're okay. grateful that you're you're teaching while you're traveling. That's very kind. Also yeah, it's a yeah. Buddhist India, is, you know, it's we sometimes we traveling on the road. So, mm -hmm. so today I exactly make that time, you know, in the Buddhist Gaya, is uh, we not going any place in the morning here, stay in the hotel and teach. So that's the I make the time. Well, thank <laughs> but you. But problem, <laughs> thank the you. time makes time time schedule is a change. That's what I didn't recognize. Oh well. <laughs> thank goodness. <laughs> That's okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so now that we are in the third the third element of the deity development stage practice and now as recalling them practice. So this is the third section. We already finished the first two. Uh, you know, first one is a clear visualization, right? Clear vividly visualize. So Everyone remember that? Kambala, actually yeah, last it, class yeah. we already finished this third element. Third element we finished already? Yes. Yeah, I think so. No. Oh, we, I see, I see. Okay, we finished the third one. Oh, okay, yes, thank you. No, it's a 43 then. I think mm. um, can I say something before we go? Um, yes. I got a message from Deb. Her husband's just in emergency surgery, so maybe we can do prayer. I don't know. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So then, everyone close eye, visualize the medicine Buddha. Okay. Then chant the medicine Buddha mantra. Tiyata, Om, Bekande, 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 Maha, Za Saminga de Yasoa, Tiyata, Om, Bekande, Bekande, Maha, Bekande, Ranza Saminga de Yasoa, Tiyata, Om, Bekande, Bekande, Maha, Bekande, Bekande, Ranza Saminga de Yasoa, Om Tare, Tutare, Tere, Mama, Ayanjana, Pinya Patankere Soa, Om Tare, Tutare, Tere. Mama Ayanjana, Pinya Patankara Soha, Ontare Tutare Tere, Mama Ayanjana, Pinya Patankara Soha. So we do like Tara and the medicine Buddha dissolve to him. Girl's husband dissolve to him, recover her Deb, Deb's husband. Deb's husband. Deb's husband. Deb's husband. Deb's husband. Oh, Debbie. Debbie, yeah. In Ohio, Debbie? Yes. Oh. Ah. Okay, so no. <clears throat> Uh, open eyes. So we're going to the page 40. Mine is page 43, but it's called Undistitling undis This It Does Not Mean You. I see next day is the yoga of recitation, right? So today we are in the yoga of recitation. No, it says, is it? Yeah. Recalling the purity? I think we finished that one, yes. 41. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm wrong. <laughs> yes. So we, we, I told that session is a one day, like only that, only that page. Yeah. So now we finish these three elements that it development stage practice. So three of this very important when we practice a Yadam deity. If you know these three, then practice a Yadam deity is very easy, no hard. Uh, if you know this theory, then all essence of a Tantra teaching. 
you know, what Jayana teaching, like especially practice Yenam Beti. It's uh, just uh, teaching is not that hard to understand, but of course, always hard to practice, you know. We know how to visualize Buddha and then think about it clearly, vividly visualize. The second is we, more important uh, the uh, that we have to know that uh, the step of divine pride. So we have to understand we have a Buddha nature, we have the same nature of Buddhas. When we practice our, any deity, that deity's nature, our nature, all same natures. So we have to recognize that. And when we practice uh, Yadam deity. And then third is you no. Know, yesterday I talked development stage practice, you no, know, as recalling the practice. So, uh, the the do you do the, your homework? Your homework is to read the uh, stage of meditation, the section teaching. Hope so, yeah. Okay, so so that's a, that's the yesterday. The homework you I hope you are everyone read the stage of meditation. If you read that section, is then this recalling the practice is very uh, very clear there, more easy. So so that's the most important too. So no no the next you know is called there's the yoga of recitation. No, we chant all the time mantras. You know when we practice the Buddha. Yadam deities, we always chant the mantra. So we have to know the why we have to chant the mantra, why the the mantra is important. Uh, so in aspect of enlightening speech, so mantra is enlightening speech. We are ordinary being, regular, so our speech is ordinary speech. The mantra is enlightening speech. That means like we chant the mantra, we can purify our uh, speech obscurations. Uh, the, we create a lot speech of obscur speech obscuration, obscurations all the time, karmic imprints. So we create a lot of karma through the speech, uh, speech, you know. And we always talk and uh, the talk is always talk about uh, worldly activity. And the talk about, uh, you know, uh, kind of no kind for others, maybe sometimes with harsh words and uh, harm for others' mind. So that's all create a karma. That karma, uh, you know, is uh, called, like that karma is very strong to take to the rebirth again and again. So that's the reason chant these uh, mantras, purify our speech obscuration, karmic imprints. Uh, usually when we, we know so just when we all the time talk is uh, not dharma, not virtuous, you know. Usually we talk lots and then all the time create coming imprints, some some sort of coming imprints. So that is the core actually uh, the speech is uh, ordinary speech, Cre create uh, some sort of habituate. And then also when we say some words, that words like harm for many others. Sometimes we don't recognize, but we say some words is hate for others' mind and heart and then uh, create, uh, you know, no virtual states. So that's the reason speech is very important. Uh, when we practice uh, Yadam Deity, there is sometimes we silent, you know. The reason is if we no silent, then no mindful, no awareness. The, we, whatever we talk, then sometimes the gossip talks, sometimes like, other chatter talks, sometimes like talking about some other people's negativities. So create all the time uh, some sort of, you know, uh, karmic imprints, strong and strong. So that's karma. 
take to the rebirth again and again in samsara. This uh, chant mantra, its purpose is like we purify our karma. You know, this karma is a speech, especially speech karma, through the speech karma. Uh, so that's the one reason we have chant the mantra and then also uh, we create enlightening speech. So we purify this, uh, the, the, how to say this, uh, the mundane or mundane speech, ordinary speech and purify karma imprints create uh, enlightening speech. So that means like we are going to close, close to the, the enlightening Buddha. Uh, when we recite mantra and the prayers, so we are purifying our grasping at ordinary mundane speech. So here says, yeah, see, this is the main point. If you know that, then just you know the main essence, why we chant the mantra. Because when we chant the mantra, it's main, main important is purify our grasping at ordinary mundane speech. All habitual imprints associated with this. So then it's here talking about purify our grasping. So actually we are grasping to the words. The grasping to the words meaning is, uh, you, you know, like we hear some harsh words, unpleasant words, and uh, someone telling us, you know, like some bad things or not really nice words. When we hear that, so right away, my feeling is changed. Unhappy feeling comes right away. So very easy, that's, you know, that means like we are, that sign is actually we are grasping to the words. If we don't grasp into the words, someone says harsh words, negative things, whatever says, not really upset, unhappy. So, Someone's telling us anything, no nice words, right away we change our feeling. The reason is we are grasping to the words. Yeah, so that's we know. Then same thing, we also say the words, other people, with the, our, our words is harm for others' mind too. So that's create karma. So now this purifying our grasping means like when we chant the mantra all the time, then uh, the not strongly fixation to the words, not strongly fixation to the words become uh, less grasping to the words, less fixation. Then, you know, slowly, uh, the song, the people what says, whatever we hear, is not disturbing the mind. So long as we get the level, it's very high level. It's good, ready, good practitioner. Somebody says harsh words, whatever we hear, the negative words, not uh, change our feeling, no harm for our mind. So we have a patient to keep listening to that. So then that term is we are keen practitioner. You know, uh, this follow the different levels. Beginners, we of course we have to study first. Right now we study this practice. We we don't have realized that's the reason. Sometimes we know these prayers, practice, and the teachings. Then when we hear the words, we are upset, we think, why wow, I'm upset? Because I know these teachings are practiced, why I'm upset? So then, that means like not enough passion. You know, not really understand what main point. Nor we receiving teaching, understanding this part of teaching. Still we hear the words and the songs, we are attached to that, grasping to that, fixation to that. Then you 
chant the mantra, practice more Yadam Deity. The when we practice Yadam Deity, like all seeing is Buddha's form. Uh, appearance is all transformed form to the Buddha's form. And then uh, also uh, <clears throat> all speech is mantra, all thought is Dharmakaya. So that is become very, very high level practitioners. The high level practitioners, whatever seeing the form, is the seeing form is a Buddha. So that that reason we visualize Buddha's form body. The purify our uh, the ordinary mundane, uh, you know, appearances. Uh, so then we chant the mantra is like specifically also introduced to to the ordinary speech, ordinary mundane speech. Purify that, and then one day we can hear all the song is mantra whatever you know then that time that no pleasant no unhappy song no unpleasant no pleasant song is become already equal or is mantra you know so that means like all this ordinary mundane speech is transformed to the buddha's speech mantra it's a very high level practitioner can do that. Not uh, just uh, practicing a couple of years, you know, not possible to get that level. So that's the reason we need a patient. Without patient, we can't get that level. The most important in this section, so we need mindful awareness. Whatever heard song, doesn't matter pleasant, unpleasant you know, recognize it's impermanent. The song is, we have to recognize impermanent. The song is same as the uh, echo, or like we say something like come back, you know, song. I think it's echo, right? <clears throat> so like that, you know, then the song is mine, not really grasping, fixation to that then our the words you now disturbing our mind so then slowly become more practice is we are chant more mantra become used to used to then chant you know mantra is naturally come from our mouth here naturally comes song chanting <laughs> Then mind also become naturally visualized, you know, the chant mantra again and again all the time. So then, then less ordinary speech become. Practitioners, uh, no really ordinary speech. <coughs> they always uh, chant the mantra. The, the, <coughs> the uh, speech is uh, always a mantra. That's why people go to the ritual, they chant the mantra, meanings, meanings, they purify the ordinary speech. This section is a very short practice, short teaching, but it's go to practice. What I shared the teaching, this teaching takes many years. Of course, actually this is a whole life practice. Here is only we have a very short information, very short sections. We don't have all this uh, information here two very, very short sections. If we have a long teachings, then very, very long. And uh, very long, also, you know, take long, long, long time to uh, study. And of course, practice uh, also, this section is a very long practice, very long taking. Whole life we can chant mantra, visualize the Yadam Deity. So then change it our mundane, this uh, ordinary speech. Yeah. So mundane ordinary speech is changed to the then always mantra speech. Then comes more, 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 more is changing to like create coming in print. Then always mantra comes naturally, comes our, uh, our, you know, like heart or through the mouth. Very easy. So that's the reason uh, people stay in the 
monk, the retreat chant all the time mantra. <clears throat> so here is a lot. This Takyun says, it's okay. There's lots of voices everywhere. It's, that's okay. I hope so. Okay. So then uh, we chant like that mantra speech and all habit imprint speech, uh, mundane speech and all habit imprints associated with this. The mantra or recitation we are repeating again and again in is the aging of a purification. See, we have to chant again and again. Some <clears throat> some people chant man mantra like couple millions. Uh, they chant millions, millions man mantra. So the the who chant the man mantra, the millions, they all have some special sounds. Uh, some 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 people has visual of our local shora. You know they can hear, and some have some special sounds, <coughs> and uh, then also they said another teeth special teeth comes from the mouth. The, I don't know that you know it's uh, some has that uh, experience. Millions chant the mantra. There comes something special inside the mouth, some small teeth somewhere. I don't know that. I heard that many many people say that all the time. So I didn't I didn't research before. What happened? Why? Where is the growing? Which side? You know. So many people has that sun. It's chant millions mantras, man mantra, on Monday pay me home. So then have a teeth comes special teeth come out and uh, that's also sound of that then also many people the some has a dreaming some has kind of visual our log is short they all have something different feelings then the fear is like purify their karma the the kind of some experience chanting the mantras so this mantra is called the we talking about her mantra is uh, in Latin speech means mantra is actually hold all these 84,000 Dharma teachings in their essence. Like example, mantra when we chant Om Ma Ne Pe Me Hong, yeah? So Om is representative body, speech, mind. See, Om, actually Om is the same as like on our home, usually we chant on our home. So short mantra, all the Buddha's short mantra is on our home recitation, but then all mantra also contained that, all this uh, three syllable. So on our home, see, on syllable is our ordinary body is transformed to the Buddha's body. Then, transform ordinary speech is Buddha's enlightening speech. Ordinary thought is transformed to the Buddha's mind. The Om, that's, that's the representative. Om is a representative body, speech, mind. Purify our body obscuration, speech obscuration, mind obscurations. Yeah, so then become our body, speech, mind is transformed to the Buddha. That's Om. Ma ne, so means like we wanted to transform Buddha's body, speech, mind, how to transform, which is important. Two things are important, two things. Ma ne, so ma ne is actually uh, om ma ne. Ma ne is a representative love, compassion, bodhicitta. See, ma ne, he me. Pe me is representative wisdom. See this uh, love, compassion, bodhicitta, and wisdom practice. Then our body, speech, mind is transformed to the Buddha. So that's the reason Om is Buddha's body, speech, mind. And uh, man is love, compassion, bodhicitta. Peme is wisdom. Home is inseparable. Love, compassion is method. Wisdom is inseparable, so home syllable. Home. See? 
So then that means like this, uh, transforming our body, speech, mind is Buddha's body, speech, mind. So the we wanted to transform Buddha's body, speech, mind. We have to practice love, compassion, bodhicitta, and wisdom. So that means like we already shared the love, compassion, bodhicitta. I already shared teaching. Then wisdom is a part of this Yadam Deity practice, wisdom. Uh, we visualize the Yadam Deity, meditate, recite, and this is all part of the uh, wisdom part. Uh, then wisdom also has many different levels. So this main practice is part of wisdom. Uh, so then this practice comes together. It's transforming our body, speech, mind. It's Buddha's body, speech, mind. Uh, then also we chant this mantra, become, we are connecting with the Buddha. Actually, we, this each mantra is calling the Buddha's name. We calling the Buddha's name. Like saying we say, child calling the mother. You know, when child call the mother, mother pay attention to child. Yeah, then mother low compassion a little child what child needs. Same like that. We, this is the mantra is reciting, is calling the Buddha. And become mantra is calling the Buddha and become chant more and more is more become close, close, close to the Buddha. That means like our body, speech, mind ordinary is transforming, transforming close to the Buddha's enlightening body, enlightening speech, enlightening mind transforming very close, close, chant more, more, more mantra every day, reciting. So that's the reason we chant, chant mantra all the time. And then mantra is not only uh, the pure, our purification, mantra also can purify other people's obscuration too. Mantra is called purification. When we chant the mantra, so mantra is like red is, like red is goes through the, all these sex realms, purify the sex realms coming in friends. See, uh, especially uh, Om Mani Pemi Hom, six mantras, six mantras there. Om Mani Pemi Hom, six syllables. Sorry about six mantras, not six mantras, six syllables. So, these six syllables purify six realms coming in friends. Uh, how to purify six coming realms? Six realms coming in friends. Uh, om, Om purify God's realm coming in friends. The we are sentient beings reborn to the God's realm. The reason the each being has pride. The pride. Perception is God's realm. Perception or appearance is God's realm. So if our, if our uh, emotion, pride is strong, the other emotion, future life will take birth the God's realm. So all is purified God's realm coming in friends. We don't have to reborn God's realm. If we reborn God's realm, it's not free from samsara, it's suffering. Yeah, so that's the reason uh, one is like uh, purified God's realm coming in friends. Second is uh, on Ma. Ma is uh, uh, purified jealousy God's realm. All sentient beings has a jealousy. You know, this jealousy, uh, karma, take to rebirth jealousy God's realm. If we, if we reborn jealous God's realm, it's a suffering, no free from suffering. And we chant the Ma, or Ma is purified God's realm coming in, jealous God's realm coming in friends. So we don't have to reborn the jealous God's realm. This jealousy, you know, jealousy, appearance, perception is God's realm, jealous God's realm. Uh, so, Ma purified that karmic imprint. Ma. Ne, 
no, it's a uh, uh, representative human beings, pure, pure human beings karma. So all sentient beings has attachment. Attachment result or karmic imprints, you know, uh, appearance is a human being. So long as our attachment is a strong thing, other other emotion, then we reborn to the human beings. You know, the attachment result to appearance is a human being. Uh, so we chant the ma purify human beings coming in friends. We don't have to reborn human beings again and again. If we if we reborn in the human beings, we we know we are not free from suffering. You know, human beings actually better life compared to lower realms. But we we in the human beings no one has permanent happiness. We only has temporary happiness, but that's easy to get, easy to lost. And then all these human beings, birth, old age, sickness, death, and then also expectation, always desire, wanting, never satisfied. This all, all the time we are suffering in samsara. So that's the reason we chant Ma is purified human beings coming in friends. Introduced to attachment. Yeah? Then, ma, no, 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 sorry, no, no, it's a, oh, ma, no, it's a, oh, ma, no, no, it's a, the human being. Pe, pe is a, uh, the animal. Uh, we chant the pe is purified animal coming in friends. We sentient beings reborn to animal realms. The reason is we have ignorance. Long as our ignorance is strong, the other emotion, then take birth animal realms. So animal realm is uh, appearance of appearance or uh, karmic imprints or appearance uh, is uh, ignorance. Appearance is in, uh, animal realm. Uh, we chant the, the ne, pe, sorry, pe, purify animal realm karma. Uh, so if we reborn the animal realm, large sufferings, depending also different animals, many diverse animals. So there's so much suffering, they eat each other, and we can see the animals suffering. No one has the, uh, any protections. Uh, no stable life, everything is changing. They're especially suffering, so they eat each other. Yeah, so that's kind of suffering animal realm. And uh, we purify, pay, purify animal karma imprints. We don't have to reborn the karma uh, animal realm. The pay, may is uh, purify hungry gods karma imprints. Uh, the if we ha, have six different emotions, if the desire, stingy, strong grasping, strong desire, that's appearance is perception is hungry ghost. So we have strong desire, strong grasping, then the karma, the karma, karma imprints re, take rebirth in the hungry ghost. Hungry ghost rains extremely thirsty and hunger. So chant the pair is purify hungry ghost karma imprints. We don't have to reborn hungry ghost. No home is uh, uh, purify harem karma imprints. Harem is extremely heat and cold. Uh, we sentient beings reborn to the hell realms. The reason is we have anger. The anger, appearance, perception is hell realm. So we chant the home is purify hell realm karma imprints and also purify karma. We don't have to reborn there. 
he reborn the hair rams the extremely suffering heat and the cold uh, that is the lowest one is strongest suffering plus heaven beings so usually in the temple draw these six rams people see these six rams you know images then comes a strong compassion others also we really wanted to free from these lower rams we recognize this all six rams of suffering then people naturally chant on manda payment home mantras dedication you know chanting on manda payment home the picture why we draw the picture the reason is is uh, who come to the temple we uh, mm, make them chant the mantra practice the dharma you know put effort to dharma yeah the picture is for supporting we see, people see this six rams image then the naturally wanted to take this dharma naturally they wanted to free from the six rams then the chant man mantra om man the pay me home so this the mantra is is become purification mantra is called purification purify this all six rams our karma imprint also when we chant this mantra like whether it's mantra go to six rams purify six rams this all sentient beings come in friends we visualize all sentient beings free from suffering when we chant the mantra that's that's why they call mantra galang when we recite a mantra sometimes mantra is uh, like ready to go to this six rams purify their karma free from the all sufferings that's called mantra as purification then mantra is not only purification also offering when we chant the mantra is offering is then like that is comes out offerings this all offering go to six directions the 10 directions actually for four direction also okay six directions so go to all the the offering comes out and the offering to the buddhas the bodhisattvas and like team beings that means mantra is become offering mantra is offering and then also we chant the mantra and each mantra has a, each mantra is the each one buddha you know completion buddha om mane peme hon is one chinrese the single body is completion om mane peme hon so like that you know mantra power is uh so then if we are uh okay so through and like in speech activity we will be able to fulfill purpose of sentient beings so that means like we purify other beings obscurations and of course we can purify other beings obscuration naturally purify our obscuration too and then through the enlightened speech activities we will be able to uh, fulfill the purpose of sentient beings if we are lacking meditation on the yadam deity uh, in our part of dharma uh, practice so although we may meditate on the skill for means and wisdom of emptiness and so so forth so no <clears throat> when we chant this mantra and uh, the much ever we can chant this mantra uh purify you know this all the, our obscuration others obscuration also mantra has become offerings uh if we are lacking meditation on the yadam deity so if we cannot practice the yadam deity in our path of dharma practice although we may meditate on the scale for means and what wisdom of emptiness and so forth uh as long as we are not free of conceptual grasping to the elements and aggregates we were not awakening into buddhahood so this is the essence of this main point as long as we are not free of conceptual grasping to the elements and aggregates we were not awakening into buddhahood if we 
we we have this mundane perception thoughts or ordinary you know perception ordinary thoughts we cannot enlighten enlighten means no ordinary speech no ordinary thoughts no ordinary appearances that's the reason this practice yidam is directly transforming to all this impure is transformed to the pure speech pure perceptions yeah so that's the the purpose of this recit reciting and practicing yidam deity so when we chant the mantra not only the mantra actually we have to visualize the buddha you know then chant mantra then when you chant visualize buddha your mind is connected with buddha see visualize buddha your mind and appearance already transformed your 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 form appearance is transformed buddha's form and our mind ordinary mind is transformed to the buddha's mind if we visualize buddha then chant the mantra is uh, ordinary speech is transformed to the buddha's speech yeah so that's the reason we practicing and this ordinary or oh, mundane speech transformed to the buddha's form body body speech mind when we adopt engaging in the yidam deity meditation so that is part of the five part of we will see that you know this is the one part of the practice yidam deity section chant mantra practice okay so no <clears throat> today we take uh, there off so if you have any questions because the reason is here lots of discussions uh, <laughs> i really cannot focus very well <laughs> sorry about that and uh, so if you have any questions you can ask like we can talk with better yeah it's a great teaching yes. um so this is maybe an ignorant question but, um, so bodhisattvas are are they human because if we're to be born as a human Mm. Yes, I can hear. Tell me, yeah. So, you mean, yes. So you want to be a bodhisattva? You're on the bodhisattva path, right? And then, does that mean you want to be reborn as a human, or is that grasping? <laughs> mm. You want to be become bodhisattva. That's why you want to be reborn human beings. Well, is that what I should, or should I, is that wrong? No, nothing wrong. That is a correct motivation. Okay. With your aspiration reborn human beings is different the emotion reborn to the human beings. So if you <laughs> Buddhist Sama to take birth is an aspiration. To help other regular people. Being, regular people reborn is for reborn in the samsara is uh, emotion. Okay. Long as they have emotion, then no choice to rebirth again, again samsara. Yeah. Okay. Great. <laughs> yeah. Long as you have good motivation, there's nothing wrong there. Okay. okay. That's no desire. It's first. This is like, you know, it's in the higher level in the practice. You cannot have desire, but before beginning in the you know into the practice, so without the desire, we cannot practice. Without the effort, we cannot practice. Mm -hmm. When you into the practice, then still you have that desire. It's become it's called distracting, and then it's wrong. When you going to, you know, walk to your home, coming back to, when you finish your walk to coming back to your home, you have to drive a car. But when you get in the, your house, still you cannot. Still, I'm going to drive. It's incorrect, right? You already get home. You don't have to drive. Right. So, so like same like that you know when you we going to practice oh i'm going to do this it's engage must have to effort as ex expectation engaging you know then you are in the practice you cannot have this expectation like oh i want to reborn something thinking that you know want to help some others right but we 
Yes. Yeah, like that. Okay. <laughs> Kambula. Okay, good question. Yes. Oh, good. <laughs> Kambula, I have a question about the mantra recitation. That yes. on your book, the stages of uh, meditation, that book. Yes. Uh, it, it's, it said here that there are four stages of mantra recitation. The first one is approach uh, approach level mantra application. Mm. That means we uh, bring the wisdom deity closer to our mind stream. Then the yes, second yes, one yes. Is approach, the yeah, close, close to Buddha. Closer approach. Then yes. The third one is accomplishment. The fourth one is the great accomplishment. Yes. So uh, I want you, my question is, uh, some of the deities, they have more than one mantra. For example, you recite mm -hmm. one mantra means you get closer and the other means maybe means you um, accomplish like something. For example, the Guru mm. Rinpoche, the Guru Rinpoche mantra. Mm. The, yes. The first one that uh, Ong Ah Hong Benza Gulu Bema City Hong. And the second one is Ong Ah Hong uh, Gulu Bema Chitinza Benza Samayaza City Pala Hong. Oh. That's, mm, so my question is how you use those mantras to attend the four levels of the mantra recitation so these are four different levels of mantra not like this the other mantras it's only first one so you use one, one that, mantra that, that is like, yeah yeah we use one mantra we don't have to follow the many different mantras yeah it's one mantra then it's become you know, approaching, accomplish, great accomplish, it's only one mantra. So how then do you know, for example, chant. for example, mm. the Gurumbachi mantra, Ong Ah Hong Benza Gulu Bema Siddhi Hong, how you can tell that uh, you are at the first stage or you already finished the first level, then you go to the second, like... <laughs> mm. That's a, that's a, a, the, you know, individual experience. Yeah, so no, you know, we cannot like uh, time schedule for that. And uh, like the one month, okay, and first, then next month, second, cannot follow like that. Mm -hmm. You know, some, some, some just maybe chant one day mantra, it's already complete. <laughs> some have to chant like years, years. So no follow the time schedule, cannot follow the numbers too. That's why this mantra has a couple of different, you know, levels to completion. And follow by sun. Follow by sun means like no time, follow by no time. Not, not the numbers. Followed by sun means you get speech, the whatever the, in the, the teaching says, you get the sun, then you accomplish. Yeah, so that means like we don't know when it's get sun, right? So I shared, the, I shared with you, shared the teaching last week about Asanga. Asanga, he, he practiced uh, the Buddha metta, yeah? you know? because it's, it takes like 12 years, yeah? And uh, so that reason, you know, like that is all followed by the sun, not followed by the, not followed by the time. And uh, some, some is followed by the, some is followed by the number. So followed by the number means like some sadhana, Yadam Deity Pekis, they say, Chan 100,000 or chant 500,000, like, like that, you know, you can see the number. So that's called the follow by the number. Yeah, 
and then followed by the number also is actually followed by the different times the the during the buddha time and the regenerate time this time is number also changed so that is a very hard to uh, you know uh, management yeah then followed by sign is like just people completing the all whatever in the book the sadhana teaching says like okay you completing then you have this kind of special signs comes then you have the signs when you have the sign comes then you already complete sign is a uh, take short time maybe longer time we don't know Okay. Rinpoche, can yes. I ask another question on mantras? Mantra garland, yes. a lot of times we visualize it this way around the seat syllable. Yes. But sometimes yes. Garchan Rinpoche, you see Garchan Rinpoche going like this. You know, he takes his mala and he's sort mm. of going like this, like the, ro the rotation mm. is like this. Mm. Can you comment? Is so, does this happen sometimes in Guru Yoga? When when do you visualize the garland rotating this way? So he cannot do like this, but that's why doing this. This means actually like that. It does. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he cannot do like this. You know, not easy to use hands, right? <laughs> yeah, okay. that that means just a repetitive mantra. Is mantra is like rotating. Okay. Not like direction like this way or this way. That means like just rotating. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. So usually yeah, mantra is like this, you know. Go follow by the and the heart center and the clockwise rotating. <laughs> yes. Okay, thank you. Okay. So, does anyone has any questions? You answered my big question. <laughs> okay. So now, today, you know, you read this one stage meditation part of the see, and read so there has a lot informations about mantra. So actually good is like I teach already and then you read this stage of meditation book. The next teaching, so then you can have asked questions like what are we teach one? You know, then we go to next one teaching. So your ask question is like kind of last week teaching. Then then it's very good, you know. That means you you studying, contemplating. So you come tomorrow, teachings, ask questions, then you know really uh, homework. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, Kambala, do we still have the, another class on Wednesday? Uh, I'm going to let know Madeline tomorrow. Oh, okay. Just yeah, so sorry about Madeline. So you have to another extra job to send the email. <laughs> Okay, oh, no problem. But but yeah, not this sorry about everyone because I'm coming. No, I'm in the in the playground match today. I'm in the Bodhi Gaya, so I already a little bit shared that maybe some is not ready their time. So I'm in the Bodhi Gaya and the playground match all the time is changing. You know, traveling. So I have to check the schedule all this traveling. We we know yet many we no plan yet. Yes. Schedule. Only we have plan to come to Bodhi Gaya. Then next step is in the Bodhi Gaya. We're going to make plan. Okay. <laughs> so watch you. Yeah. So I'm going to make that today, and then tomorrow I'll let you know Maryland. So when I can teach. Okay. 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 Sounds good. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Happy to see everyone. Bye. Yeah. Bye. Thank you, Yeah. Bye. 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 Bye bye. Bye bye. 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 You, okay. End meeting. There we go. End meeting.